I want to say one thing. I want to give you a compliment that you have a good dimples. I love it. Sure. And you know what? One thing I realized recently, very recently, when my mother got uh, diagnosed with a tumor, and at that time, you know, uh, when I went to the private hospital, they were asking for like money, uh, ten to fifteen lakhs for one operation or something in good hospital. And that time, I realized that uh, being rich or having good money in your hand is really, really important these days. And we cannot deny the fact that money is not important, and we can, you know. be happy whatever we have we can be happy but when it is required it is required nobody can fulfill the gap which can be filled by the money only that for you would you speak very well okay you are very confident i love the tone of your voice your voice modulation okay yeah. so you are able to show emotion through your voice which is good because sometimes people will speak as if they are reading out of a book hello hi hi a very good afternoon Yeah, yeah. Afternoon. How are you today? How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good. What about you? I'm feeling great as well. But I could do with some more sleep. I feel like my sleep hasn't been that great the past couple of weeks. Oh. Right. Okay. So, have you had your lunch? Have you eaten? Just, just before the session, I had my lunch. Okay. Okay. That's that's amazing. Well, I'll have my lunch after three o'clock because my last <laughs> session is like until three o'clock. Or I keep snacking in between. I keep eating something or the other in between. So it's not like I'm starving the whole time. Okay, nice. Same like me. So how is your new, how is your new year going on? Any resolutions this year? Anything specific you want to achieve? <laughs> how to say that I take resolutions? This is how we should say. So I you say I make resolutions. Okay. I make. Yeah. Not take resolutions. Okay, there is some official term. I don't remember the name for resolution. I I don't remember. Okay, so yeah, I make resolution like I have decided eight resolution for myself, but I haven't follow any of them because of some very serious issue. Because my mom was not well from last one month, so I have been like busy with her. But you know, mm-hmm. now she is stable, and uh, yeah, still I have to do a lot of things with her, so not able to. Follow anything till now. It's all right. No, I would say yeah. just take it easy. It's not like people make resolutions and they follow them. So you know, do but I. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is this: like I have post all those resolution on my YouTube channel, <laughs> so there are many people like who watch that video. So what yeah. they will think about me? Like it's just a kind of video, and you're not doing it. But yeah, it's not like that. After my mom will recover, she'll be fine and start doing everything. Yeah. Okay. Also, you know, people they don't know, you know, where you're coming from or what's happening in your personal life. Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm saying people don't know, you know, you properly. Yeah. So they don't know exactly. where you're coming, from, what you're facing in your personal life. So even yes, if exactly. they make a few comments, don't take that to heart, right? Because they, they don't yes, know you. Yes, I know. They don't know. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, that's great. Um. So, any questions? Any doubts? Anything you want to ask? <laughs> I want to say one thing. I want to give you a compliment that you have a good dimples. I love it. Seriously, okay. I've been told I look like a chipmunk because when I smile, my uh, cheeks get up. <laughs> I haven't seen these like this much dimple on anyone's face. I also have, but a little bit. But yours are like perfectly nice. Okay. Honestly, I haven't seen dimples like mine on somebody else because usually people have these small, cute dimples. <laughs> I go from here to here, so they're like cute. No, but it looks lovely. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I mean, okay. <laughs> Because I think everybody, you know, they, everybody struggles with their, you know, self-image and what they look like. You know. Hmm. No. So, actually, my whole family has dimples. My mom, dad, and my brother, but not like mine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay, so uh, by the way, a topic is business idea, I suppose, right? Okay, business ideas. Yeah. So, have you ever thought about starting something of your own, a new venture, a new business? I'm actually doing it. <laughs> actually, I, by profession, I'm an advocate. So, I have recently started up a small uh, partnership firm with the two of my partners, and uh, it's like uh, very new. We have uh, rent. How to say this? We have rented an office. You have rented, yeah, an office. Actually, okay. we have rented an office recently. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we are doing. Uh, I'm doing it actually. 
That's great. You know, I think you should be very proud of yourself for you know starting something of your own. Yes. Right. I'm happy. And how is your English speaking journey going on? Do you think think that you've been improving a lot ever since you joined Flappingo? Not a lot, but yes, obviously I'm improving because earlier I did a lot of grammatical mistakes while speaking, but now the numbers of my mistakes have been reduced. So that is why I'm happy. Okay, at least I am progressing. I'm learning something. Uh, learning should never stop. Actually, you know, uh, there is a, no nobody is perfect. So I consider myself that I will never be perfect, even though I will learn the whole English concept because there is always a scope of learning. Mm. So yeah, I'm still learning. I still do mistakes. You can tell me. Uh, you can. uh tell my mistakes at the end of this video you can notice them like whatever the mistakes i'm doing you can write it down uh, now and just let me know uh, at the end of the video ashay you do not make many grammatical mistakes to be honest okay <laughs> okay nice you know you could refine the quality of your sentences like i do make i do mistakes or i make mistakes okay or oh my god say, uh, use the number of mistakes that i make in sentences like that Yeah, I know this, and I think in my previous session somebody told me the same thing. Correct me, but I don't remember. Whenever I I speak, I always say I do mistake. I know mm. that it's not correct. We make mistake, but still I don't know why it happens. Mm. But it's I okay. I'll try to be in the habit, you know. So I would recommend read more content because when you read content, not just watch it or hear it. Reading is you know because the words will get stored in your subconscious mind. Okay, so when you speak or have a conversation with somebody, they'll come out automatically. So you won't have to make that much effort. Okay, but if you watch something, you can't really focus on the English or the grammar or the words that much. Okay, and I think this is my weakness because I have never read anything in my life, and I just avoid re reading. And instead, okay. I used to listen audio books or like YouTube videos. I've heard a lot of content, but not go like not by reading. so maybe this is the reason my sentence structure is not really good it's the very basic one i would say so that read I... reading people don't like reading that much because it takes effort right but trust me reading will open up your imagination it will expand your horizons you know like how you think about things because when you read something you imagine things in your mind okay, okay. you feel what the other person is feeling like that you empathize with characters so it gives you depth as a person and it makes you a good person i feel like okay so you give me another reason for reading books so i'll surely think about it and i'll take some time and i'll i'll start doing it <laughs> see also reading can be an escape from reality so if you're having a bad day if you read something you know you can just be in a completely different world so that's yeah fine. okay we'll do that also like if you want to inculcate or like adopt two things in your life one is reading and second is exercising so if you're doing these two things trust me you will end up transforming your whole life so yeah okay okay these two things are all already in my resolution and i will surely do that okay all right that's, that's great yes hmm okay So you know why don't we talk about is it better to be influential or rich? Sorry. Uh, so okay. So you know we have two extempore topics before the okay. document. One. So the first okay. one is is it better to be influential or rich? So what do you think about that? Rich. Okay. All right. Yes. This is you want, simple. You want to elaborate on that? <laughs> how to elaborate today i'm not finding words actually <laughs> i want to be rich obviously every person in the world want to become rich because once you will become richer you will get the like many benefits which you cannot get when you are not rich you have you don't need to struggle a lot for like getting something you have everything at your like one place just with uh, thinking but if you are not rich you have to struggle a lot you have to uh, do hard work or like I know rich persons also do hard work. Then only they become rich. But once they become rich, they can become richer by just investing money, investing their money. So I think being rich is a good thing. Okay. Now I think it depends. You know what you aspire to do in life. If you really wanna live like a fancy lavish life, you become. But maybe some people they find happiness in small small things, right? So they want to make an impact, maybe. So it's no, not I'm like that person. 
I I mm-hmm. still find happiness in small things, but still on the second part, like what we why we are doing hard work. What is the reason behind the hard work? We just want to get something. We want to achieve something in life. We want to do something in our life. Exactly. So motive is at the end of the motive is to become rich and get good money so that we can protect our family. We can be like independent financially. The mm-hmm. ultimate goal is to become rich. Whether you accept it or not, that's the different thing. But yeah, for example, right now I'm struggling for my career. I'm not, you know, till established. I'm struggling, but still I'm happy. It does not mean that for becoming a rich, I'm just, you know, uh, being unhappy or like uh, I'm feeling yeah. When will I become rich? No, it's not like that. I'm enjoying each and every moment of my life and still want to become rich by doing hard work. So this is the kind of life. Yes, sure, and sure. you know what? One thing I realized recently, very recently, when my mother got uh, diagnosed with a tumor, and at that time, you know, uh, when I went to the private hospital, they were asking for like money, uh, ten to fifteen lakhs for one operation or something in good hospital. And that time, I realized that uh, being rich or having good money in your hand is really, really important these days. Otherwise, you have to go in the government hospital. You have to do a lot of struggle. Actually, you have to spend your whole time. For last twenty to twenty five days, I was in my mother's place, not here in Gurgaon. So I compromised my all the work, professional work, everything. See, I'm not doing anything from last twenty five days. So recently, I started creating videos like with clapping go. But before that, I did not create any single video from last twenty twenty five days. So this is this is actually time when I realized that money is also important. We cannot deny the fact that money is not important, and we can you know be happy whatever we have. We can be happy. but when it is required it is required nobody can fulfill the gap which can be filled by the money only i think money has is, has its own place you know in everybody's life because how else you yes. sustain yourself or take care of your family so it does play a role exactly exactly and now i'm imagining you see if i could have like 20 25 lakhs in my account i can simply go to any private hospital get the good treatment and she can be treated well within a few days we don't need to uh, go to the government hospital we don't need to you know follow the queue we don't need to follow up with the doctors with the appointment for the operation date i don't know how long it will go on go how long it will be going on uh, it may take 4 months 5 months so this is uh, like uh, the person health is unpredictable we cannot uh, tell that everything will be okay in those 4 months when i'll uh, you know coordinate with the doctors or taking appointment that time i really really feel that i wish i could have some money in my hand yes i see the thing is you realize things over time sometimes you feel like you know if i had more money i could do this sometimes you have more money and you feel like uh, what i'm going through it can't be fixed by money so i wish i had people around me or something else okay yeah that so also like, yes ages of life they teach you the value of different different things so exactly yeah so you're basically right. be at a spot where you can actually you know like you you stable being stable is good it can be yes. financially it is emotionally it is in terms of everything yes you're right i want to know one thing about you that where are you from actually right now i'm living in noida but uh, my father was in the air force so i have traveled a lot so when people ask me where are you from where are you living like so it's okay. like i'm so changing the place Yeah. Okay. So sometimes okay. I'm like I don't know where I'm from because it's a mix of everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're very near by me because I'm in Gurgaon and uh, today I'm going to my mother's house again, which is in mm-hmm. Delhi. So yeah, after this session, I have to go. That is why I'm sitting like. I hope your mom, you know, she gets better and she starts feeling better soon. I really. Yeah, I I, I'm. I'm very positive about that i'm not thinking anything negative and i just make up my mind that yes i have to do it because i do not have any brother or someone who can help me i am the only person who has to do everything so mm-hmm. yeah i have to be like positive and i have to make my mind strong that no need to cry no need to feel bad you just do it whatever is required instead of crying you should uh, do good steps because when you will calm your mind work in a good way Okay. Actually, I'm very proud of you. So you're doing great. You know, just keep that up. <laughs> yes. Because even uh, the from the past few days, I've been struggling with my mental health a bit. So I'm a bit, oh. a bit grounded these days. Like take one day at a time, get things done, be positive. So I guess self affirmations they help a lot. Yes, a lot. Sometimes a lot. You can't get out of bed. I'm like, Ashi, you're a brave girl. Get out of bed. Or you can do this. So you can make your food. You can take a shower. Like so, small, small things. You know, they like come together and really help you. 
out of any situation yes. sometime even i won't feel like doing anything i just push myself to take bath at least once i'll take bath i'll get ready myself i'll feel energetic it happens every time with me i don't know why but after taking bath and freshen up i feel like doing something like start something or do something otherwise if i'm in the bed and i feel lazy i couldn't do anything i was like in the same mood so first thing just get up and take bath after that your mind automatically change and it comes yeah. in it goes in this working mode do you feel like a new person when you take a shower and you feel clean see i also have noticed this uh, so whenever i'm not feeling good mentally even the things around me don't they are not properly arranged so so if my room is messy means my mental health is also messy you know so you keep your things around how your mental state is okay yes then i'll get up i'll clean my room i'll take a shower and then i'll feel like a new person right so everything mm-hmm. is neat and tidy and my brain i'm um, up showered so you know thinking in a good way that's why it is okay so why why you are mentally upset why you are not well like what is the reason is is anything like wrong or something big or it's like just sometimes you feel like sometimes you feel like that i think you know when people uh, they talk about mental health right so they want to know what is exactly wrong but trust me most people who suffer from like depression or any kind of mental health issues their life is great there is nothing wrong with them it's like you know mm-hmm. uh, suppose a person has cancer okay they didn't ask for it it just happened they woke up one day and they were suffering from something like my mom has diabetes right she can't help it it's just the hormones so sometimes mental health is just the hormones you wake up oh, some day yeah. and you just don't feel like things are right feel like and sometimes there are no reasons so it's very really hard to explain people like what is exactly mm-hmm. wrong with you exactly going on yes so they ask what's wrong I'm like i don't know i don't know why i'm feeling like that i don't want to but i am right okay. so you just give it some time you do things that uh, help you keep your mind off things so yeah that's that's the thing with me it happens sometimes yeah, okay. it does yeah. okay so anything else you want to talk to me about <laughs> yeah i want to know from like how long have you been with flappingo because it's so, my first session with you a long time so i have joined flappingo last year in june i think it was the first of june so in a few months it will be like one year okay okay by the way my feedback for you would be you speak very well okay you're very confident i love the tone of your voice your voice modulation okay so you're able to show emotion through your voice which is good because sometimes people will speak as if they are reading out of a book okay yes. it isn't thing very natural but i think you're very natural now what you can do is you can read more content good content okay okay like you know you are what you eat so if you eat healthy you feel healthy so if you read good content you speak good content okay okay this is say it you cannot pour out of an empty cup so if you're not adding anything new how else are you going to reproduce anything good yes right okay we'll do that all right okay then you take care have a nice day spend some time with your mom yeah i'm going tomorrow i have an appointment with the doctor and i have to go in the morning so yeah i'm going i have a 4 year old kid and you know what i have to leave him here with the like grandmother and his father so okay. our Okay. Oh, uh, there. No, not a problem. Not a problem. Do so we like, have time, or it? I think it is about to end in like any. It can end any uh, time. Oh. Okay. Always my sessions. Always my sessions end up like this only. I never say proper bye or something to anyone. It's always ended like this. Okay. Uh, all like through communication. But it's.